That's what real leadership looks like. We just witnessed real leadership, which is Joe Biden said that as a nation, we should all be wearing a mask for the next three months because it will save lives. And the thing about Joe that the American people know is that his role of leadership in our country has always been about doing what's best for the people of our country, best for their health, their well-being, and for their families. That's what real leadership looks like. And when Joe talks about his priorities, he knows and he cares about the fact that we have, as a nation, witnessed 165,000 people who just in the last few months have died in our country. We know that those individuals represent families, loved ones, grandparents, parents, sisters and brothers, aunts and uncles of people who are mourning their loss every day. So what real leadership looks like is Joe Biden to speak up, sometimes telling us the stuff that we don't necessarily want to hear, but we need to know. And the need for this mandatory mask wearing um, will also uh, be about what Joe has articulated and what a Biden-Harris administration will do in terms of creating a pandemic testing board to get tens of millions of testing kits where needed, to build a public health jobs core, hiring at least 100,000 Americans to lead us through contact tracing as soon as we take office, and to chart a clear path forward for a safe and effective vaccine and guarantee every American, every American, equal access to it by investing $25 billion, which is Joe's plan, $25 billion in manufacturing and distribution. And when Joe talks about this, I think it's important that the American people looking at the election coming up um, ask the current occupant of the White House, when am I going to get vaccinated? When am I actually going to get vaccinated? Because there may be some grand gestures offered by the current president about a vaccine, but it really doesn't matter until you can answer the question, when am I going to get vaccinated? So again, Joe Biden is about real leadership in our country, and, um, and I'm honored to be with you, Joe. Thank you.